Hello Pen Pals, this is Tom with Goldspot.com here with another top five list for July 2019. And we are go for the top five in five, four, three, two, one, lift off. All right, so what do you guys think of the new digs here? So as a celebration of our hitting the 10,000 subscriber mark, and thank you all for being part of that, uh, we decided to upgrade the studio set a little bit, give it some more texture, a little bit more of like a, a hip sort of look, and, uh, and it's definitely real, not a, a green screen. So um, what we did this month in July was we had a few awesome things happen, lots of explosions in the air with 4th of July, of course, and then one of the most notable explosions in the last 50 years was the propellant of a rocket that was sent to the moon to land the first human beings on the moon July 20th, 1969. There were a few limited editions from different manufacturers that uh, commemorated this great event, so usually you'd see a little bit of a lull in July in the pen industry, but it was quite exciting with the edition of that anniversary. So we also had our gold rush, which was a prime opportunity we felt for a semi-annual sale that was placed in July that also coincided with the release of our latest Retro 51 exclusive pen, which we'll get to in just a little bit. And on the channel this month, we put together a guide on Flex Nib Fountain Pens, as well as a startup guide that we partnered with our boy, Mr. Penboy Roy, in coming up with a little bit of a comedic skit that you guys could enjoy even if you are a seasoned uh, fountain pen enthusiast, uh, you could still enjoy the comedy uh, that's involved there. And of course, like I said, we reached 10,000, of which now we'll be starting to sell merch on the uh, Gold Spot Pens YouTube channel. So on every video, you'll see kind of below the, the title, there would be some options to buy like mugs, t-shirts and stuff, and we'll put some cool uh, phrases and things like that on there. So here's my quick disclaimer about this list. These top five pens are based on sales, likes, comments, and customer reviews on goldspot.com during the month of July. This isn't my personal top five list or greatest of all time list. It's a list created by you, the fine people of the online pen community. At number five, we have a beauty from Germany. We saw this pen being created before our very eyes. This bird was born in the Pelican factory in Hanover before our very eyes as we were touring the facility. Had no idea that this pen was coming out in just about a month or so after we visited. And lo and behold, the Blue Dunes was released. We did an unboxing video to kind of give you a more in-depth look at this pen, um, but there is a lot to look at because the initial pictures that we had seen um, really didn't capture the depth and the luminescence of the resin, the Italian acrylic resin that they used for this pen, uh, that it has a deep translucency and lots of color, lots of pearlescence, chatoyance. There's a lot going on here that you wouldn't have really seen just looking at the normal factory photos that came, even though the factory photos are beautiful beautiful, don't get me wrong, but um, this pen, I feel, is far more beautiful in person rather than in the beauty shots. This is an M805, so it's a fairly larger size type of pen. It has a brass piston mechanism, so it fills by bottled ink only. It has a large 18 karat gold nib, which is coated in rhodium to match with the rhodionized uh, trims here, and uh, just looks absolutely handsome. It just has like a very uh, artistic, sort of pleasant, a very serene sort of color. And, uh, and definitely the Suvron 805 or the Suvron 800 is a model that many pen collectors and pen enthusiasts usually go to as one of their prize pens. And it's a special edition, so it's not going to be something that's going to be around for a while, maybe about a year or so. Uh, I would definitely recommend getting one if you do like this color and you don't have an 805 or an 800 in your collection yet. If you do have one of these, you'll know exactly the reason why you need to get this one in your collection because it is a superb writing performer, nice and wet, uh, juicy line that you'll, you'll get with the 18 karat gold nib and it just won't quit on you. This pen is a pen for life. Let's take a drink with number four on this list. This is the Monte Grappa Fortuna Mule Copper 
fountain pen. The Mule has been discontinued by Monte Grappa, and it's one of the most popular Monte Grappa pens to date. It really broke the Fortuna as a flagship model pen for the Monte Grappa brand and put it on the map, essentially, after it had become back into the ownership of Giuseppe Aquila. The Monte Grappa Fortuna was one of that, that model that they came out with that was just a, you know, your, your, your everyday sort of user pen, something that wasn't too luxurious, that you would feel odd bringing it out, but yet it was a precious enough pen that you would say, this is a pen of significance that I could bring around with me and feel good about myself writing uh, all sorts of awesome things with. So this is a copper fountain pen, and you've seen copper pens before uh, touted to be antimicrobial uh, because of its natural copper qualities. If you have a cold and you touch this pen all over and then you leave it, it'll naturally just kill the germs that are on it. That being said though, the grip section is not copper, uh, nor are the uh, clip and the cap band, um, but this copper polished finish, it has a mirror-like finish right now because it's brand new. However, what'll happen is eventually when you use this pen for a while, it'll take on characteristics of your the natural skin oils and different things that are in the atmosphere and it will start to tarnish. Um, but they do include a polishing cloth so that you can polish it up to be brand new again. However, a lot of people like the wabi-sabi effect of this pen where it will end up kind of defining its own character by over time with use and different environmental factors. So it is kind of a cool idea that you know something kind of ages with you. As I'm holding it here, you can see a lot of the fingerprints that are going on right now at the moment. Um, but like I said, you could always polish that up. Um, but some people opt not to because it gives the pen more character. Character. They are a great price right now. They are getting the very last shipment from Monte Grappa in Italy, and we're only going to be expecting a very limited amount of these coming back in. So if you missed out on the first initial run this month, there will be a little bit more that's going to be coming in at the same price. The Monte Grappa Fortuna Mule is available in a fountain pen with stainless steel nib, or rollerball, or ballpoint pen. Number three is another pen made from Germany. This is the Lamy Safari USA Special Edition that was launched earlier, actually later in June, but then carried over into early July because this is the Independence pen. So it's got the red, white, and blue that's significant to our nation's flag, white cap, red clip, red finial, and a blue body and blue grip. We did see this last month because it was a late entry to last month's top five list and it just kind of came out and it really just took a, a lot of people's attention. A lot of people collect Lamy Safaris. I know a lot of our customers love the limited edition releases that come out every year and this one is a special limited edition release for United States only so it's only available to US retailers. That being said, usually the fountain pen comes with just a cartridge only. However, what we've been doing is we've been including the converter in with the fountain pen, which is a rare thing most safaris do not. That was kind of what really differentiated us from other retailers that you might have seen carry this pen. We also have the rollerball pen, which is a uh, uses an LM63 refill, which is proprietary to Lamy, so it's not a standard international refill. Uh, and your fountain pen is going to use the LT10 cartridges or converter, like I mentioned, which will come with this pen. However, that is a limited time offer. That's something that we uh, may end up running out of converters, so you, we might have to take it back. Um, but, uh, but for right now, it does include the converters. Check it out at Goldspot and get on this while it is still available. At number two, we have our latest limited edition Retro 51 and Gold Spot Pens collaboration, Tornado Skyline Tokyo, which we introduced mm, about a couple of weeks ago. And uh, the reason why it's number two is that because it's only been a couple of weeks and we have something even more special for number one. But this is a pretty special pen in its own right. If, you, uh, if you've traveled to Tokyo before, you might recognize some of the famous landmarks and items that are in the skyline here, including Mount Fuji in the background, the Rainbow Bridge, the Tokyo Sky Tree, and more. So there's a lot that goes into designing one of these pens with Retro 51. We go over a lot of the key points about what to include in the skyline, as well as uh, color palette choices, little design ideas as far as like the um, the tiny little figures that are at the very uh, 
before end of the pen that's here. And uh, little things like when we get the proof and we need to make sure that everything kind of lines up appropriately and that all of the architecture is as accurate as you possibly can be for an illustration. So um, definitely a lot of these pens like, have a lot of work that go into them. And also at the same time, uh, it has a quality that is bar none one of the best in terms of your rollerball pen is concerned. Retro 51 makes an awesome rollerball pen in the Tornado series. Uh, lots of different finishes, lots of different collections, limited editions, uh, materials that they use out of them, including acrylics and uh, glow-in-the-dark finish, which is what this uh, Skyline is all about. So when you turn out the lights, it'll end up glowing in the dark wherever there's any patterns of white on here to mimic the idea that when the sun goes down, the lights of the city come alive and the city comes alive in its second nightlife. Definitely this is one of the pens that if you have an interest in Retro 51 or if you've collected other Retro 51 pens, um, these pens usually go up quite a bit in value once they sell out the run. We still currently have about half of the run available. So, I mean, it is July. It's a little bit on the slower side, so most of them usually sold faster. We do have this as a limited edition of 707 pieces, which is significant to the year 1707, which was the last time that Mount Fuji erupted. But you would definitely do yourself a service by buying one even if you're not really like in love with writing with the pen, you could always just stash it away and be able to have it as an investment for the future because these pens, especially as a set or as a series, have gone up in value uh, quite significantly over just the two years that they've been available. And number one on your list of top five pens for July 2019 is the Retro 51 Apollo Limited Edition Fountain Pen commemorative of the 50th anniversary of the moon landing. This was an addition that honestly did not see coming, but I should have, being that they released the Space Race, which was a collection of three rollerball pens earlier this year that featured the Gemini, the Apollo, and the Mercury missions. And each one of them was designed taking the rocket and then illustrating it around the barrel. The reason why I can't open this one to show you the details and put it in my hand is because this is the very last one that we have, and it is reserved for a customer. So uh, they wouldn't take it too kindly if I opened it up for them. So we established a pre-order for this, and basically right after we got them in, after the pre-order was done, we ended up selling out of them pretty quickly. And uh, we had the fountain pen was available in extra fine, fine, medium, or a 1.1 millimeter stub. And like I said, this is the last one that's available. Out of all of the limited editions that involve the moon landing, this is probably by far the most successful because it just inhabits that price range that most people can participate in. Really, Retro 51 gave you a great option to uh, purchase something to take away a commemorative item for the 50th anniversary moon landing, which I thought was a great job that they did on this pen, and I'm eager to see what they will do next in terms of a new uh, fountain pen. So that, ladies and gentlemen, is your top five for July 2019. What's to expect in August? We have the DC Pen Super Show that first weekend, which we are not going to attend, but there should be something special there you could check out. There's also the San Francisco Pen Show on August 23rd. We're gonna talk about back to school, unfortunately. I'm sorry. Summer has to end sometime. You know, we have to go back to school. We have to go back on from vacation back to work. And uh, we're gonna make it a little bit less painful because, I mean, as a kid, I personally enjoyed going back to school shopping, going to roam the, the halls of, uh, of our stationery store and find different items that I can outfit myself to be better productive and to tackle the new semester with vigor and, uh, and get awesome grades. Um, but, I mean, now I don't have to do that, but heck, you know, I'm going to still take the excuse and buy something, you know, that's new and that's going to make me excited to be productive and write and uh, do all sorts of things like that. So we're going to go over some uh, ideas in August for you to be able to tune up your everyday carry of different writing instruments. August 9th is National Book Lovers Day, so if you have suggestions on books for writing and writers, leave them in the description so that uh, we can maybe feature them during the month or we could uh, reach out to the authors and things like that. It would be pretty cool to kind of uh, see a cross-section of people who enjoy writing and get published and also people who enjoy their writing instruments. Big thanks to all of you that support Goldspot.com by liking, subscribing, and placing orders on Goldspot.com. 
We hope that you enjoy the rest of your summer. Stay inky, my friends. Take care.